Now that you know what SN1, SN2, E1, and E2 are, let's look at the different factors that you can just instantly tell which type of reaction or mechanism this is going to be. Because you will have different examples and we'll go over some, some different examples just saying, okay, am I going to do SN2, E1, and so on. First thing that we're always gonna look at is just the type of substituent. That's going to help you identify which one's which. Let's start off with just something being tertiary. Well, if something's tertiary, I know, what do I know from that? If it's a tertiary substrate, well, I can identify whether or not this is SN1 or SN2. And remember, SN2 does not favor a tertiary substrate. So that's why I can just instantly tell, well, this would only be SN1 if this were my substrate. Now, if I were given something that was primary, well, that's the opposite. I don't want SN1 and I don't want E1 since they're 